We were talking about your teaching experience. First time I've ever taught. I, I was curious about that. I was very nervous the first day I went in there. My first real experience of teaching, so it's the MFA, Master of Fine Arts, postgraduate course in creative writing. Um, wow. The first day I went in there, all a little bit jittery, so after the introductions are out of the way, the first thing I do is I got my marker pen and um, start to write up the lesson plan, the seminar plan that I'd prepared. I wanted to look really professional. And the student puts his hand up <laughs> and says, that's a projection screen. You're not supposed to write on there. <laughs> no. <laughs> so my cover was entirely blown. I was clearly a novice teacher. And then they were very quick to reassure me that the super could probably get it off with an alcohol-based cleaning fluid. <laughs> anyway, it broke the ice. And did things go downhill or uphill from there? Oh, uphill all the way from there. They've, been, they've just been a fantastic bunch of students. And to, for me to spend time seriously analyzing the craft and technique of writing with a group of very committed students has been really rewarding. You know, I've, I hope they've learned a lot and I've, I've learned a lot as well in the process. So, so do you think you have, in having to talk about the craft of writing, do you think you understand more about what makes you tick as a writer? I think I've articulated to myself more about the techniques um, because, I mean, I never went on any writing courses. Uh, for me, the, the way into writing is being a really good reader. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, an avid reader and hopefully a smart reader and a serious reader. And you haven't, if, you, if you've read a book once and think you've read it, you, if it's a good book, you, you really haven't read it. You've got to read more than one time. The first time you read for the story and then the second and the third time you read to understand what the writer is doing. So for me, it's always been that way into writing. Mm -hmm. But then to go and articulate some of the techniques about you know, plot, for instance, what's the difference between suspense and tension? Um, how do you create the crucible? You know, how do you create the, the, the stage that prevents the characters from leaving the scene of the confrontation, whatever it is? Um, you know, what are the ingredients of that? Um, all, all of those things, yes, I've had to think it through in a way that I can then tell other people about, and that's been very interesting.